Hi guys, my name is Eliza and this is Eliza's Bookshelf. Today I want to go over three recent romances that I read. The first one I want to talk about is A Guide to Being Just Friends by Sophie Sullivan and I did talk about this in another video earlier this year in January for the release of this book but this is a friends to lovers closed door romance by Sophie Sullivan and it is in the series the Jensen Brothers series. I'm not sure if it's the last one I think it is the last one because there's only three brothers <laughs> and so this is the last one in the series. Um, it just made me love the character so much that I do want to go back and read the other two because this is the first one that I read from this author. The first one is called 10 Rules for Faking It. The second one is called How to Love Your Neighbor. And it's, it is closed door, so keep that in mind. I did not know that. And then when I was, you know, hit by the, the closed door, I was really surprised. But basically you have this girl named Haley Sharp and you have this guy named Wes Jansen. They're both not in the market to be in a serious relationship or anything. So when they met each other in the cutest meet cute ever, they decide to be just friends. Um, yeah, so Haley Sharp, she moved to this smaller city outside of LA to be closer to her cousin, I believe. And she is opening up a salad shop. She's not doing so hot. So she's getting a lot of support from her, you know, her community there um, but when she meets Wes Jansen in the next the the shop next door it's like the the funniest and cutest meet cute ever and you'll have to read it to find out why I think it's like so I don't know if anyone has ever thought about it before but I've never read this type of meet cute before and I thought it's just like hilarious and obvious like why why wouldn't people write about this right because you do hear about it sometimes in real life but yeah, so there's that. The meet cute was so good. And you learn about the secondary characters a lot in this book too. So if you haven't read the first book, you don't need to because I did catch on to everyone's relationships and I love them so much. So you have like, you know, Wes's brothers, the other Jansen brothers, and then you have a Haley's Haley's cousin and all the friends that she makes in the shop community. Um, but yeah, they're, they're so cute. They actually have a guide to being just friends that they write up just to joke around, but they obviously didn't follow it because they they fell in love but she has to deal with like her um her independence and wanting to do what she sets out for in her career because she just got out of like a really bad relationship and then he has to deal with like family issues he he has two parents that are divorced and really badly so so she's really scarred from that and he has to like navigate that with their relationship together but i loved it so much five out of five stars there's nothing bad i can say about this book the next one i want to talk about is hello stranger by katherine center this one was such a joy to read. It was so heartfelt and s sweet and the twist was like, the twist is not really a twist because you kind of see what is coming, but just reading it through is just so enjoyable. I loved it so much. Um, so Hello Stranger, it's about this woman. What is her name? Sadie Montgomery. She's a portrait artist and she has like problems with her family too, like never thinking that she's good enough because she is becoming an artist. They always wanted her to be a lawyer or a doctor or whatever, right? And her dad never really liked her decision to become an artist. And so when she finally enters into this contest and is a top five finalist out of thousands and thousands, she's like really happy to finally prove herself. Um, problem is weeks before she actually has to enter her final portrait she something happens to her she has this medical condition that she has to have a procedure for and they say it's all gonna go well but afterwards she has this weird condition where she can't recognize faces the facial blindness i forgot what it's actually called but i hear a lot about this in thrillers rather than romantic comedies or rom-com books um because in thrillers it's always like oh i was there to witness the murder but i can't really tell you who the murderer is because i didn't see anything right i've heard of a couple books that had that i know i know rock paper scissors by alice feeney didn't use that type of trope but i never read about it in a romance book so this was really new and really cool because um what i thought that Catherine center did differently is that she really delved into the condition and talked about how you know it heightens other senses like like uh, hearing or taste. I don't know. It's just so interesting the more she talked about it. Um, I did rate this book 4.5 stars out of 5 stars and I bumped it up on Goodreads but I think it is like 4.5 just because in the middle I was like it's a little bit slow. It needs to pick up a little bit but I really liked reading about her relationship. She's like meeting this veterinarian and starting to date him but yeah you'll have to read it because it's very interesting. I liked it. See, you can see how much I liked it by how much I'm smiling right now, but yes, that one was really nice. The third book that I want to talk about is Icebreakers 
Is it Icebreakers? I think it's just called Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. And this book was okay. A lot of people said if you like The Deal by L. Kennedy, then you would like this one. And I loved, I love, love, love The Deal. This one people said you would like because it is like a ice hockey type of romance too. So the main girl is named Anastasia, cute name, and then the guy's name is Nathan. And so Anastasia Allen, she is trying to be like an Olympic figure skater. She skates double with this guy who's actually a big jerk. And then Nathan is the, the school's like ice hockey player. They began as enemies. So this is an enemies to lovers type of book, but they started off as enemies because something happened with the ice hockey team. They some someone did a prank and then they broke one of the rinks, and so two teams has to share one rink and they're trying to you know navigate that. And she is just really mad at him and his team for putting her in this situation when she needs all the practice time she gets. So yes, she like hates his guts. He's trying to apologize, and then you know it's very spicy from the beginning. But the reason why I didn't really like it is because it was just like so many things going on at once there's like the storyline of her like her her partner being a jerk and interfering with everything there's the storyline of i don't know there's just like so many things going on and i can't even tell you exactly what but it does remind me of that book beautiful disaster by jamie mcguire which i did enjoy so i'm really surprised that i did not enjoy this one as much who knows i would say this book is a mix of beautiful disaster and um, the deal except not as toxic as beautiful disaster. It's just like it reminds me of it because of all the plots that's going on meshed into one So it feels like a really really long book. I think in 50% of the way I was like when is this book gonna end so um, Yeah, I feel like three stars out of five is being very generous, but overall I thought it was okay I liked it. I enjoyed it while I was reading it, but I did wait for it to end. I couldn't wait for it to end sounds bad, but it was okay. So anyways, those are the three romance books that I read recently. I really, really enjoyed Guides to Being Just Friends. Hello Stranger was also really good. And Icebreaker, it was okay. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this mini recap. I will see you guys next time. Bye.